the morning. Jack got me this cat for our anniversary because he knows how much I miss my pets and how much I want my own cat. So this is Snort. He has crystals in his butt. He is my new most prized possession, so he's gonna stay right with me if that's okay with you guys. So I start university again in like a week, which is so painful to think about. But at the same time, it is my final year of university, so I really wanna make the most of it and enjoy it as much as possible. So I've got a lot of like preparation stuff that I wanna do beforehand so I can like properly enjoy when uni starts again and not have to like basically stress about all this stuff, like fitting it in afterwards. So you guys are gonna come along with me for that. And if you guys have not started school yet, I don't know. Like everyone seems to start like a lot sooner than I do. So if you're already back at school, then I hope you're enjoying it and I hope you have a really good year. But if you haven't started yet, then maybe this will give you guys some ideas of just some little preparation things to do beforehand. Or even if you have started school, actually, you could still do these things like when you have some time. Anyway, first thing I wanna do is set up my academic planner, which was actually very kindly gifted to me by Ruby Gray. Thank you so much Ruby if you are watching because her planners are just like so much more than just like a regular planner Because obviously they've just got like the regular like calendar part which I've like already started filling out But there's also a lot of like reflection stuff in here So like at the start of the book you've got a little like book log of like all the books that you read this year There's like pages for your goals for the year and your routines and like self-care and like just so many different things like that And yeah, it's just a really good plan. I really love using these so oh my god This is the last year I'm gonna be able to use it because it's the last year I'm gonna be in education Oh my god, that's so sad anyway So I'm just gonna start filling out the like beginning pages because I've already started using like the calendar like planner parts but I still need to fill out like the about me page and the key and like my goals for the year and my routines and everything like that so that is what I'm gonna do now. I will link this planner in the description by the way. It's actually really just hit me that this is like my last year of education because like I've obviously been thinking about the fact that it's like my final year of uni but like it's literally the end of my life in education. Like that's pretty much all I have known my entire life. That's really scary. So I have had a slight little shopping addiction recently because the thing is my like toxic trait that comes out like once every like couple of months is that I will go through phases where instead of scrolling on like TikTok or Instagram or anything, I will scroll on Depop and end up spending all of my money. And on top of that, I've kind of like had a little bit of an identity crisis, but like not really. It's just more that I've like kind of figured out my style properly. And so I've had to basically just like, obviously, you know, I've had to, I've had to restock my wardrobe with all of this like new found style. That's probably only gonna last like two months until I like have another identity crisis. Anyway, the point is I bought a lot of new clothes that I will do a haul for you guys in a little bit, but I now need to make space for it all in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a closet clear out. I've already actually cleared out this like not even longer, literally like a month ago, but now that I have like redesigned my style, like none of this actually matches anymore. So I'm gonna need to go through it again. And then after I've done this part last time, I just like got bored and ended up not clearing out any of this stuff. So I also need to do this. But first I wanna try this suite because basically today is like the move in day for all the new tenants in the building. So I just went downstairs to book the cinema room for me and Jack tonight before any of the new people get a chance to. Is that mean? I don't care. But they have like loads of drinks and snacks and everything downstairs and she was like, help yourself. So I was like, damn right I will. So they had these little like Asian sweets that she said are just like hard, like milk flavored sweets, which sounds real good to me. So little unboxing. Ew, wait, why is there like, why is it got like dandruff stuck to it? I don't know. Am I supposed to like unwrap this papery stuff or am I supposed to just eat it? Cause it is like not solid enough to peel. I'm just gonna eat it and hope for the best. I do not think I was supposed to eat the paper. Okay, it's like the texture of a fruit gum, but it tastes exactly like Milky Bar. Real good, I will be stealing more of it as well. Anyway, onto the closet clear off. The floorboards in the next room will keep me warm. Finally finished going through everything and this is everything that I'm getting rid of which I feel like doesn't look like that much but compared to how small my wardrobe is and how like few clothes I actually like have here this is actually like quite a big percentage of it so pretty proud of how well I've done that and this is obviously what the closet looks like now so here is just all of my t-shirts I've actually got some extra space normally I'm like cramming extra hangers in here but we've actually got like a little bit of extra space now on the top shelf we've got bottoms and then on the second shelf I actually had enough space where this shelf was actually completely free and so kind of 
turn this into like my go-to shelf of just like my absolute like most worn pieces right now which I'll obviously like swap out like depending on what I'm wearing at the time just that if I am running late or I don't wake up on time or anything then I don't even have to like think about my outfit I can just grab some straight off here and then the rest of my jumpers we've got down on this shelf which is definitely the most packed doesn't look too organized but to me it is I've just like rolled them all up and then down on this shelf we've got pajamas which this one was also like super packed before and I've managed to get it down to this like I got rid of so many pajamas and by pajamas like a lot of it was just like oversized t-shirts but ones that I just like don't wear too much because I kind of still gravitate towards the same ones even for pajamas and then on the bottom shelf I've just got bags so all of my tote bags I actually just like stuffed inside of one just so that they don't look like too messy anymore and then at the back I've got a backpack at the bottom and then just like my smaller just like more like handbag sized bags behind there and yeah so that is my full closet clearer I actually think I did pretty good there and this is just gonna make getting ready every day for uni so much easier whole time so I obviously as I said have spent so much money on clothes recently but anyway I'm still very happy with all of these new clothes you will kind of see the vibe that I'm going for in terms of like my style now it's very like downtown girl kind of vibes and it's actually making me like so excited for autumn now which is like the first time that's ever happened like I literally have never been like excited for autumn which like sounds really sad but like I always just like have really bad like seasonal depression and when the days get shorter and it's literally just like dark all the time like it literally makes me so sad but this year I really want to make a point of actually romanticizing like autumn and winter because it just kind of sucks that anytime it is autumn or winter it kind of feels like I'm just wishing my life away like waiting for it to be spring again and that's just like it's such a sad way to live and so I really don't want to do that anymore I want to like actually find the good parts of autumn and winter and just like enjoy it for what it is instead of just wishing away my life basically very dramatic way of explaining it but you know what I mean and yeah so like finding this new style that I really like is definitely like a massive plus for this I didn't do it on purpose but it just kind of works out that like the style that I have found that I actually really love just happens to be perfect for autumn and winter time it just makes me really excited for when the weather gets cold enough for me to be able to like wear these outfits properly there are people staring at me through the window i literally right all the like new people as i said before are moving in today and i think they've just like started to arrive now it's kind of sad though because genuinely like all summer well not all summer but like for a good month or two of summer i have literally been like one of the only people that have lived here like most people moved out like at the start of summer and there's like not many people that have like stayed on for another year like i'm literally one of the only people so it's literally been like having the entire building to myself like all the downstairs areas the gym the cinema like everything has literally just felt like it's my own and now it's just gonna be like full all the time and I feel it's literally it's the same feeling of when we like came out of lockdown oh my god there's more people I hate this so much I'm actually gonna cry we're just gonna we're just gonna talk like this for a while I was saying it's the same vibe as when we came out of lockdown and where it was like exciting but also like I feel like social anxiety got so much worse because we were so used to not seeing people that the idea of like being surrounded by people all the time again was like really scary and like that is the same feeling I've got now like the idea of going downstairs to like the study areas and it being like packed with people literally like panics me like I feel like people are invading my house which is so dumb but I'm just got so used to it anyway let's very quickly get through this before there are more people so I am gonna make this a try and haul because I'm so generous first things first we have got some shoes we have got some Doc Martens which these are so nostalgic to me because these are like the exact shoes that I wore all throughout high school all throughout college to the point where they literally were like too small for me and I still would just like refuse to get rid of them I wore them down to the absolute soles and so I finally bought myself a new pair in my actual size and I love them and then we've got a couple of tops so the first one is just a very simple just basic gray crop top annoyingly this was in my basket for so long like literally like a month and then i finally gave in and bought it like the day after my birthday and then immediately after buying it i was like editing my birthday vlog from the day before for instagram which by the way i do post like daily vlogs over on instagram so go follow me on there and i literally noticed that my sister was wearing this exact top in the freaking video so i literally could have just like borrowed it from her but whatever at least i have my own now so we don't have to like argue about it and i actually do wear this all the time i've literally worn it like every day since so definitely was worth it this this is the next top which I am so obsessed with. I just love the colors in it. It's like, I don't know if the camera is gonna like pick up the colors like accurately enough. Actually, you know what? That is pretty decent. I love that it's like obviously quite a bold pattern but still like quite neutral colors. And I also love the neckline on this because it is like deep enough of a scoop to where you can see my chest tattoo when I wear it. And I just love tops like this. Like I love long sleeves and I love like the ribbed texture because it just looks like really like slimming and like flattering when you wear these because it like molds to the shape of your body if that makes sense. The next item is just a very basic piece that I have somehow never had and that is just a good pair of black jeans. I've just like always struggled to find good jeans because I am very annoyingly short that no clothes are made for me. Also my legs are like kind of 
chunky like in comparison to the rest of my body so like I don't know I feel like my legs are just like really awkwardly sized to where clothes just generally don't fit them but these ones fit me perfectly they are from Urban Outfitters and they are the flood jeans they are wide leg jeans but they are not too wide or too narrow like they're just like the perfect amount and they like fit perfectly on my ankle and like they fit perfectly on my waist and they are just so perfect that I literally went and bought the blue pair as well because there was another seller that was selling the blue version so those are on the way and you will see those more when I obviously get them because I will be freaking wearing them all the time. Next, my favourite part of this haul is that I have got some new jumpers and I love them so much. The granddad style jumpers are literally my new obsession. I'm going to be wearing them all the time. Like it is literally going to be just the only thing I wear from now on. Like I'm obsessed. Even though it is literally still like summer weather, it was literally like 24 degrees yesterday. We're still wearing one of these jumpers because I love them so much. So this is the first one I got. It is obviously just a big oversized jumper and it is like brown with just some like very muted stripes on it. This color combination is one that I never would have like gone for. I would never have like thought of this color combination, but I actually think it is like weirdly really flattering with like my coloring, I guess. I don't know, just something about it I feel like suits me well. Maybe maybe that's just me. Humble me in the comments if I'm wrong. And then the next one I got is this navy jumper with, I don't know how to describe the pattern, but it's like a cream and burgundy like triangly pan, I don't know. This one's like a little bit more like Christmas jumper vibes, but like not too much. Like you'd obviously still get away with wearing this and not have people think it was like a Christmas jumper. Again, super comfy, super warm as well, even though they're like not actually that thick. Like as you can see, there's like a lot of holes in there. Like they're quite thin, I guess, in terms of how far jumpers go, but they are super warm, great for layering. And yeah, I just love these jumpers and I will be buying infinitely more you will see and then last but not least we are on to jackets so story time with this so i was like i really want a good denim jacket because i've already got a denim jacket that is like blue fur lined and i love it the only issue with it i love the look of double denim but like it has to be like the right shade of blue and the jacket that i've got is just like kind of it just doesn't really match any of the jeans that I've got and so I only ever wear it if I'm wearing either like tan or black trousers and so I was like what I need is like a good black denim jacket and so that is what I bought and obviously it is just like what it says on the tin it's just this black denim jacket with like fur lined collar it's actually washed to more of like a grayish kind of color so yeah I bought that and was like really happy with it all cool and good right and don't get me wrong I do really like it and I will be wearing it a lot but it was annoying because then literally like the day after I got this jacket me and Jack basically went like dumpster diving a little bit because it was around the time that everyone had just moved out of the building and so the skip behind the building was like always full with everything that everyone had obviously thrown away as they were moving and so it just became like a little ritual that like every night we would go to the skip and see if we could find anything. But the best thing that we found was this freaking denim jacket. It is literally the perfect color, fits perfectly, matches all of my jeans because it's like the exact right type of denim. It's like perfectly oversized. The pockets are freaking huge. And I'm obsessed with it. I literally could not have like found a more perfect jacket if I tried. And on top of that, we ended up searching the brand to like see how much it was originally. This jacket is worth 150 pounds and someone just threw it in a skip, like a joking. So I'm freaking gassed with this. This is like my favorite thing that I have, I was gonna say bought, but acquired we will say. And yeah, so every time you see me wear this, which will be more or less every single day, you will know that I got it from a skip. Hey, so I am about to dye my hair. Even though it does look fine, actually, like this color that it's like faded to is actually like the perfect color. Like I'm really happy with how it looks right now. So you might be thinking, okay, why are you then going to ruin it? But I'm kind of just planning for the future in this instance because I know that this is only gonna last like maybe two more washes until it's gonna like definitely need to be dyed again. And so I'd rather just like get that out of the way now instead of like starting uni and then also having to like fit dye my hair into that new busy schedule. And you also may have noticed, which I just like have failed to address, is the fact that I have not got red hair anymore. I ended up going back to black just for, for a couple reasons. The main one just being that it's so freaking hard to maintain red hair or just like colored hair in general, but I feel like especially red because it fades so fast. Plus the fact that I was using semi permanent dye. I literally had to re-dye it, no joke, once every other time I wash my hair. So literally like twice every three weeks, like minimum, I was having to re-dye it. And it's not even just a case of, you know, like this, just like mixing up color and slapping it all over. It's like that I would have to go in and meticulously go through and separate each like individual hair. It was just so freaking annoying and I just couldn't deal with that even in summer when I had like no responsibilities. And I was like, I know that as soon as I start uni and I have to like somehow fit dyeing my hair, like 
twice a week into my schedule that's just not gonna work so i was already planning on dying it back to black because of that but i was kind of intending on leaving it until like around like now to dye it back but it kind of just was as simple as i woke up one day and was like this just doesn't feel like me anymore. It kind of went hand in hand with, as I was saying, I've kind of like figured out my style recently and kind of going along with that, I just like didn't feel like red really went with that, I guess. I don't know. So I dyed it back to black and I love it. And I feel like the most myself I've felt in a real long time, which is so nice. Also, I'm pretty sure these gloves already have a hole in them just because they were packaged wrong. So that's good. I'm only mixing one bottle, even though it's to do my entire head, which I know is not going to be enough. I do actually have a second box of this. However, every time I dye it with two boxes to cover my whole head it goes like properly like pitch black and I kind of want it to be a little bit softer than that and so instead I am going to only use one but then mix it with a bunch of conditioner to like bulk it out if that makes sense oh in fact I need to put some oil all over my neck and head so that I don't dye my entire face lovely oily neck I literally thought this was the wrong shade. Then I always check now as I have seen too many stories of people like swapping the actual like color tube inside of hair dye boxes. So I always make sure to check the actual tube before you do it. I'm literally just gonna use the conditioner that comes in the box to fill the rest of this up. And while I do this, I'm gonna tell you a little story time about what happened this morning. So last night I was planning my day for today. Also by the way, sorry, I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror for right now. So sorry that I'm not looking you directly in the eyes right now. But anyway, I was like, okay, right. I've got quite a lot of work to do. I've got like some videos to edit for some clients. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna romanticize this occasion and I'm gonna go to my favorite cafe and I'm gonna work there. And I was gonna like order a chai latte, maybe get some lunch. And then this morning I wake up and it is absolutely throwing it down with rain. Like literally the most torrential rain I've probably ever seen in my entire life. And normally, because this is what I like normally don't like about autumn, right? Is the fact that it freaking rains all the time. And so normally I would just be like, you know what, screw it. I am not gonna go. I'm just gonna stay inside and do my work indoors. I'm just gonna look everywhere. But I didn't do that. I was like, you know what? No, I am making a point of romanticizing autumn. And so I am gonna go out in the freaking rainstorm because the cafe is only like a 10 minute walk from my house like it's not that big of a deal or so i thought and so i put my headphones on i'm listening to my autumn playlist bear in mind i also don't have any jackets that have hoods for some reason the amount of jackets that i have bought for autumn but none of them have hoods i really need to do better in that department but anyway so i walk through the freaking hurricane to get to the cafe just for them to tell me right bear in mind this is literally 15 minutes after the cafe even opened. I go in and they tell me it is freaking fully booked. Like it is literally completely full. How does that happen? Because normally I book for this cafe, bear in mind, but every time I've booked, it has been completely empty when I've got there and I've always thought, what is even the point in even freaking booking? Because I never need to because it's always completely empty. So the one time that I don't, and I literally am there as the cafe is open, it's already felt like who is going out in the pouring rain to go to a cafe other than me? And so I end up trying to turn around and walk all the way home, which <laughs> yeah, I look like a freaking drowned rat by the time Got home. However, there were some positives and silver linings that came out of this situation. So, number one is that it taught me a very valuable and important lesson that I should have learned when I was about five years old, and that is buy a freaking umbrella. Like, why have I gone my entire life and not earned an umbrella? Like, that seems like a very that seems like a character flaw, to be honest. So, you best believe the first thing I did when I got home was Amazon Prime myself a new umbrella. No got black hair dye on my white fluffy sock. I'm not even gonna try and get that off. I really don't actually care that much. They're really old. But now that I have bought an umbrella, I'm kind of realizing I think that has been my issue with autumn and winter like my entire life. I think this is literally the one thing that has been missing because like the main thing that I don't like about this time of year is the fact that it rains like every day. But with this magical invention that has existed forever and I just have never actually reaped the benefits of it, it means I'll actually be able to walk to uni and not be freaking soaking wet by the time I get there. And it means that if I actually remember to make a freaking booking for the cafe, then I can go and like study there and not have to like walk in the rain to get there. This is like very, very basic logic that I'm talking about here. Like this is not a revelation by any means. This is like, you know, the kind of basic life concepts that you learn when you're about three years old. Like I always make fun of Jack for having like really weird gaps in knowledge. For example, he thought that you chose whether you wanted your baby to have an innie or outie belly button. But I mean, who am I to talk when I don't even know how to make it through the rain without getting wet? Anyways, after I did get home, I got back into my pajamas and Jack made me a cup of tea and we like sat at the desk editing together. It was really cute. And it was actually very nice and cozy because I was kind of thinking, even if if they had had space at the cafe then because I didn't have an umbrella and I was literally sopping wet by the time I got there like it would have actually just been like really uncomfortable and like not a fun experience so I'm kind of glad it worked out that way and since I couldn't get lunch at the cafe like I planned I ordered myself KFC for lunch and it was very good so that my friends is how you make the best of a bad situation and um moral of the story is buy a freaking umbrella okay hair is dyed obviously you can't really see it because it's still wet but you'll have to wait and see that in the next video because I 
I'm going to end this video after we have this little chat right now. But basically, I want to wrap up this video by, for one thing, painting my nails. Because, obviously, I mean, it's still, like, a week until uni starts. So I'm definitely going to have to paint them again between now and then. But as of right now, this is absolutely atrocious. So we need to fix it for the time being. But I want to talk to you guys about my goals for the last year of uni. Like, my goals for just the next academic year I guess. Ironically not many of these goals actually really have anything to do with uni I guess. I mean they kind of do but like none of this is to say that I'm not gonna work hard this next year it's just that my focus isn't necessarily on university itself because instead I just want to work really hard on like social media and just like you know writing books and like releasing merch and like doing all the things like that that I've like always wanted to do and always been kind of like not necessarily pushing off but like there's been a lot of times throughout uni where i've kind of let my social media slip like more or less for the entire time i've been at university let's be honest but i've kind of just put it off as like oh i was just really busy with uni which like don't get me wrong like was true to an extent but it was still very much within my control like the reason i was so busy with uni is because i would just procrastinate and leave everything to the last minute which is like completely my own fault and so this year i really just want to make a point of just staying on top of uni as much as possible so that i then have enough free time to actually be able to spend working and doing my own thing because like my main motivation for this year and like why it's actually gonna be different this year is because for the first two years of uni it was kind of like I don't know I had this safety net of like oh I don't really need to be posting on social media because you know I've got time I'm at uni I'm getting a student loan I don't need to be making money right now if that makes sense whereas now I'm at a point where a year from now me and Jack are planning on moving in together but obviously rent is very expensive and I also really want to get a car next year which is also very expensive and obviously i'm not gonna have a student loan to like carry me through that so my ultimate goal is by the time i graduate i want to be making enough money to where it would match like a regular full-time job salary so that i can then just continue living and paying rent and buy a car and do all those things that i want to do without having to get like a proper job and so yeah i'm definitely gonna like really take like my finances seriously this year i guess and like working as much as possible alongside uni so yeah anyway but the good news is that well, hopefully the good news is that it all might actually work out perfectly for me because the universe just loves me so much. Because assuming that they are sticking to what they told us last year, they are actually changing my filmmaking course this year. It used to be that in the final year, like the final assignment was just to make a short film. Whereas now they have told us that they are gonna be changing it to where we can instead just pick whichever role that we want to do and basically just submit a showreel of all of that role that we do within the year. So for example, Hello. Aww. You ruined my video. You know what I'm going there. <laughs> yeah, but you're normally lit. <laughs> I love my girlfriend. She's so nice to me. Yeah. As I was saying, so in that case, if they do actually stick to that and they do change the course, I would just be able to pick editing as my role and literally just basically be able to make YouTube videos and edit for people, which I already do for my job, and basically get paid and like be working, but literally just be able to like put it in a showreel and hand in as my uni assignment. Obviously, I would still have to like write my dissertation and everything. So I'm gonna have to see how like that kind of fits into everything. But like if they actually do stick to that and change it, that is going to make my life so much easier. I can't even explain. So I'm absolutely just putting all of my manifesting power into that happening. And then also like a more specific goal that is more just like kind of a routine like habit that I wanna start doing is I'm telling myself that every day that I have a uni class, I always wanna stay at least an hour extra at uni to just like work on stuff and like catch up on things because the amount of time that we're actually in uni this year goes down like quite a lot to only like two days a week. I think it maybe starts out at three days a week and then drops down but my point is if we're only in for like two classes a week uni is like a 30 minute walk from my flat if I am like walking at a normal pace. Normally I'm like speed walking because I'm late so I normally have to do it in 20 but another one of my goals is that I want to actually be early every day or on time at the very least and so i don't want to spend like an hour of my day like walking to and from uni just for like a two hour class and so i really want to make the most out of like using the library and like the editing studios and even like on my days off i still want to try and like you know go to cafes or like even to like the downstairs areas of my apartment building where they have all like the study areas and stuff just because i find it really hard to work and like focus in 
my flat just because there's like so many distractions and so i really want to make a point of like going to different places to do my work and so actually as part of this that you guys could also do as a little way to like romanticize school is i've written like a little like menu for myself of like things i can do like after class and so like doing my homework is obviously on there and like editing videos but also some more just like specific things and even just like reading because obviously there's going to be some days where i'm just like not in the mood if i've had like a really long class and i really just want to go home then i at least want to stay for an hour just to like read a book just so i'm at least fitting another hour of productivity into my day hopefully it'll be longer than that because uni is up until like 9 p.m so like i might as well like stay and make the most of it and also on the days that i have afternoon classes i really want to go in early like in the mornings and have breakfast in the cafe and yeah basically just spend as much time as possible in the actual uni building because then you know if i have questions i need to ask then obviously my teachers are there there's books there there's computers there's a cafe like there's everything i need in that building so like i might as well just stay and get as much work done there as possible and yeah pretty much i just want to make this year super productive and save as much money as possible so that i am in as good of a position next year as i possibly can be for the start of adulthood which is really scary and yeah so let me know your guys's school goals if you are still in school let me know in the comments and a little ways that you're gonna romanticize this back to school season okay, and bye. yeah good luck if any of you are already back at school or going back to school anytime soon thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time